remember this, Kratos. The memory is vivid. A familiar scene to any that know your legend. The man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares. To stave off the barbarian horde. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Well, if I had to guess. Probably to make you feel like the piece of shit you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. <sighs> At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. Pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the Eve came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The Horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Out. Killed. Violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. I don't think you are indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait, is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios's chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes, I fell to my death and was saved. But this memory happened before I killed him. My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. You are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head, you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. An infamous act. One they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so literally. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing me deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you care. Enough. He is better, isn't he? A substitute daughter. A box full of evils. This one feels important. This is your blacksmith's story, isn't it? His girl was the key, and he died protecting her? Protecting her from me. 
I opened that box seeking a means to kill Ares. And what I released... Pretty much turned all the gods crazy. Thanks again for that. Quiet, Ed. Unfortunate. The time I spend in my own Valhalla means you get more time with him. Let's see what your mind has worked out. When the evils of the box were purged, what remained was hope, which you chose to release back to the world. Yes. After everything, you came back full circle to sacrificing yourself. My death would have been just, but it was not to be. Yes, you lived, and hope still lived inside you from that day to this one. One might say you brought hope back to these realms after a long slumber. Box or no box, Kratos. Hope and fear and love and hate exist in every one of us. The question is, which will you choose to let guide your actions? Each choice we make shapes our world. Mm. I see the truth of it. And? I believe I am ready to walk through that door. Excellent.